We went chalky last week, but it did manage to pay off for us as Andre Petrosky goes out there and lays and prays his way to victory over Dylan Budka, cashing as a minus 265 lock of the night play. We also had some great lock of the night spots on the regional scene. Probably the most notable, Damon Donald coming in as a minus 135 under, or sorry, a minus 135 lock of the night play for us, cashing a little bit of a scare in the second round, but was able to get it done in the third round and win that fight on the scorecards. But that now increases our lock of the night record on the year to 66 and 31 for a plus 21.64 percent or uh, unit profit and a four percent ROI. Uh, again, very happy to be uh, getting closer and closer to the goal as the end of the year starts to roll around. Um, yeah, very happy about that. Uh, got another three uh, lock of the night candidates for you guys uh, for this weekend's UFC 306 Noche UFC card. Uh, remember, I only pick one of these three as the official lock of the night play. I've already posted it for the Patreon folks, and that's where you guys are able to get it uh, and see what I'm locked in on. Um, yeah, that that's the best way to do so. Not to mention that, but also a ton of other great uh, perks and content that I drop exclu exclusively for the Patreon folks. So make sure you guys check that out uh, in the description below. Once again, that is the MMA LOTN Patreon page. All right, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. First, a candidate up for the lock of the night is going to be the Raul Rosas Jr. and Arichi Lang under one and a half at minus 140. Uh, obviously, Rosas Jr., the biggest favorite on the card at minus eight. And normally, when he gets his way, he's able to get the fight done with pretty quickly. And I expect him to have a tremendous grappling advantage here over Arichi Lang, who's shown some decent defense against other grapplers, but none as aggressive and as effective as Raul Rosas Jr. Look for Rosas to make no bones about it, get this fight into the grappling room immediately, and from there, he eventually works to the back of Arichi Lang and gets the submission. I'm thinking it's going to happen in round one. As long as it happens under seven and a half minutes, we can hopefully cash this a potential lock of the night candidate the second candidate up is going to be joshua van coming in at minus 225 now i get it he just got finished by charles johnson back in july but i think this is a very favorable matchup for him against a guy that might be a little bit too aggressive and that will work against him i think van is the slicker striker here and even though he's a bit of a slow starter he should start to pick up steam in the second and third rounds and do a good job in terms of walking chires down landing counters working the body and and maybe even finding a late finish in this matchup. Regardless, as long as Van gets his hand raised here, he cashes as a potential lock of the night play. The third and final lock of the night candidate is going to be Ronaldo Rodriguez, uh, Lazy Boy, coming in at minus 125, going up against O'Day Osborne. I really don't understand the love around Osborne, as obviously Rodriguez has gone from minus 170 down to that minus 125, minus 130 range. And I think that this is a great fight for him to showcase why he deserves to be on this platform. Osborne is 2-5 and five over his last five fights, should potentially be on a four-fight losing streak had Charles Johnson pushed the pressure a little bit more in that third round. I know that's not going to be a question here for Rodriguez, who will do a great job in terms of thwarting the grappling advances of Osborne, as Osborne will likely be looking to take him to the ground from jump, but uh, Rodriguez does a great job in terms of providing resistance, uh, creating scrambles, throwing up submissions, looking for get-ups, and then that's going to cause Osborne to start slowing down in the second and third rounds and that will open up finishing opportunities for rodriguez i like him to get the submission in the second or third round but to get him at minus 125 as a potential lock of the night play i think is a no-brainer spot there you guys go three lock of the night candidates i will be back later today for the top three dog of the night candidates see you guys then